Hello everyone and welcome back to Zig Wheels. Today we have the new SD Roadster with us. Now before we proceed further, I have something to say. Yes, we are late. You see, we got an exclusive preview of the SD range last month, but the media units took their own sweet time and when we finally got these bikes in February. With that out of the way, let us focus on the motorcycle. It is called the Roadster. It looks like a cruiser. It is a bit confusing, right? Not really. We got the answer in this video, so make sure you stay till the end. So let us start with the engine. Just like the other SDs, the Roadster 2 is powered by a 334cc motor. But look closely and you can see that the engine case doesn't have a boxy design and it looks similar to that of the Java. And here are its engine specs on your screen right now. The first thing that you will notice on the SD Roadster is the urgency of the engine. This motor loves to rev and it is properly quick. It kind of reminds me of an energetic puppy that just wants to play and feels fidgety sitting idle. And that's the same case with the Roadster. It wants the rider to have a heavy ride race and have loads of fun. Another impressive bit of the Roadster is the light clutch and the slick gear box. Also, the exhaust note is throaty and by BSX standards, it does sound good. But it isn't perfect. Vibes kick in at speeds as low as 40 kmph and you can feel a buzz on the handlebar and the foot peg as well. Also, the peaky nature of the engine means we aren't sure whether this engine will be tractable at city speeds and we can only confirm that after a road test. In terms of styling, the Roadster does look similar to a cruiser, owing to classic design elements such as the round headlight, curvy fuel tank, the big seat, backrest and the large mud guards. But it does have Roadster elements like the black finish on the engine, exhaust and the alloy wheels. Its siblings, the Scrambler and the Adventure do stand out. But that isn't the case with the Roadster and we feel SG designers should have done a better job in this regard. Talking about features, the Roadster gets a single pod LCD instrument console. While the layout is clean, we wish the display was brighter as it was difficult to read it under direct sunlight. Unlike its siblings which get LED turn indicators and a USB charger, the Roadster misses out on them. Fit and finish though could have been better as one can see inconsistent gaps on the switch gear, loose wires and the well finish is poor which doesn't justify its retail price. Now talking about ergonomics, the handlebar looks like that of a cruiser, but that isn't the case. It is low and wide. The foot pegs are center set, so the riding posture is quite upright and comfortable. Also, the seat height is pretty low at 790mm, so shorter riders won't find it difficult. The wide handlebar also offers you lots of leverage while cornering, but that is something we'll be talking about later in this video. We already spoke about how snappy the engine feels and that's the same case with its handling as well. This bike likes to hustle. Direction changes are quick and even around the mountain twisties of Lunavla, it felt stable and engaging. The credit for which goes to its chassis and the MRF rubber which offer us loads of grip. Now this swift characteristic should make it easy to ride in the city as well but that's something we can only confirm after a road test. The Roadster gets disc brakes on either ends and features dual channel ABS. Braking performance is good with adequate bite and the ABS too doesn't kick in early. While the ergos are comfy, the same can't be said about the ride quality. The Roadster suspension setup isn't harsh but it isn't plush either. So on broken surfaces, you can kind of power through but you will need to cut your pace on potholes. Before we talk about the verdict, let us check out its pricing. Now I'll be honest, when I first saw the Roadster, I thought this bike is confusing. But having spent a couple of hours riding it, I was so wrong. This bike is properly quick, has engaging handling and more importantly, it has character. The Roadster wants to hustle. It wants to have loads of fun and for this reason, it is a proper roadster and not a cruiser. 
and among all the six bikes launched by classic legends, it is clearly our favorite. 